Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Let me know um, how this video looks. I did turn down the exposure on my camera because it just, I looked like washed out because of the lights I have. And I wanna give you guys like the most accurate representation of what's gonna be happening on my face. And also using my AirPod as a microphone. So let me know. So today I have a bunch of new makeup products and I'm so excited. Um, some stuff is like new, new. And some stuff has been out for a little while, but it's like new to me. So we're just gonna chit chat, try some stuff on and see what the deal is. Um, I just primed my eyes with what I normally use, which is the ColourPop Cream Shadow in the shade Laurel. It's just um, a cream shadow base, but oh my God, I love, I love this. So because I'm testing out an eyeshadow formula, I wanted to make sure that I'm using the um, the primer that I'm used to. So the first thing I'm gonna you use is an eyeshadow palette and you are gonna croak a thousand croaks when you see what I got this for. Okay, so this is the NARS Ignited Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's just neutral, really, really pretty. Definitely up my alley these days. I found this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, whatever, they're the same thing. Can you believe that? Four dollars. So it used to be twenty nine ninety nine, and then there was a sticker over it for four dollars. And at first, I thought that it was like, you know how I have heard of some people like taking the stickers off of like, oops, taking the stickers off of one thing and like putting it on another to try to like get a better price. But I took it up to the register and I asked the girl, I was like, is this? The real price and she like looked it up in the system and she's like yeah i just think it's been here for a while i'm like oh well i will take it for four dollars and none of the shades are broken so i'm going to start with this shade which um all of the shades have names but like it's called hamamet one interesting um i have a couple of nars palettes and this was just like the best find of my life like i am so excited <laughs> Speaking of excited, um, you guys are going to see in my next video, I have a very exciting purchase coming in the mail today. It's out for delivery and I need to sign for it. So I've been like um, stalking the UPS person and waiting for them to come up my driveway um, because I want to make sure that I get this package. Shadows are a little dusty, but you know, they're NARS shadows. I'm going with that one. Um, same brush. This is the It Cosmetics. It's an It Cosmetics eyeshadow brush, but I've used it so much that the uh, writing has come off. Um, yeah, so I will explain in that video what the purchase is, why I made the purchase. It was a large purchase and um, kind of like what my reasoning for it was. But I am so, so, so excited. I've been looking for this like particular thing for like a year and like stalking four or five different websites and I found it. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. These eyeshadows are blending nicely. I like NARS shadows. That one's a little more cooler toned than I prefer. It's called Sophia. Um, I don't know when this eyeshadow palette was released actually. I don't think it has like a copyright date on it. Nope, not that I can see. Um, it's, I'm assuming it's like an older palette. I'm probably not gonna go darker than this. I have a meeting today, but I only have one meeting, but I have to drive to it. And like fellow work from home girlies, if you know, I, um, I work from home primarily, but then I have to see some people like quarterly. And I know this meeting is gonna take me like literally, this is glitter glue, um, literally 15 minutes. And I have to drive like 30 to get there. So that's annoying. <laughs> um, for the shimmer, I'm going to go probably that one. That one might be a little bit too late right now for what I want. And I'm just going to take it on my finger. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty. I'm not going to do like anything crazy. Like liner wise. I might not even do any eyeliner. Just because I'm going to be like standing in a parking lot for 15 minutes. But I wanted to try out this formula. I like NARS um, shimmer shadows. They're pretty. Pretty. Actually, I kind of want to like try this one. Darken it up a little bit. I, I was really happy to see. Oop, that didn't darken it. That made it more pink. Okay, whatever. Pop off. We're going for it. Um, 
I was really happy to see that this was a neutral palette, just a little bit more wearable. Okay, pretty for four bucks. I'll take it. Okay, so I have a couple of exciting um, foundation products or like face products. I'm actually quickly going to take, this is the Tarte Easy on the Eyes Liner in Brown. And just kind of do one of those, just on like the outer edge, just to give myself a little bit of definition. That's brown. Perfect. Okay, now on to the exciting stuff. I have two primers, technically. Um, so I'm going to do one on one side of my face, one on the other side. I have the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer plus 4% Niacinamide. I was very excited to try this. And then um, I don't think this is a new release um, because I got it on sale at Ulta. But it is the iHeart Revolution Tasty Watermelon Primer. Um, I, it says Dewy Finish Primer with Watermelon Extract. So... Interesting. I don't think that this is like a dewy finish, but this is, which is fine because I want to see what this um, foundation is like. It's a new release. So let's try the watermelon. The packaging is so cute. I think I got this on Ulta for like $3. Ooh, it smells, it smells like watermelon and alcohol. Is there alcohol in this? I have to look up the ingredient list. Oof. It smells like watermelon vodka. Did you guys ever drink watermelon vodka in college? I would always have the um, the Fruit Loop one. It was called uh, Three Olives was the brand, I think, and they called it Loopy. It tasted like cereal, I'll give them that. All right, this is like a little bit sticky. Um, obviously it's not like pore blurring or anything. Um, it, not even necessarily dewy. So we'll see how that goes under foundation. This I'm really excited to try, the Power Grip with Niacinamide. Niacinamide is a skincare ingredient that's um, brightening and, ooh, this is thick. Thick, thick, and super, super sticky. Power Grip is right. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Makeup Power Grip Primer or Hydro Grip Primer, which I have, um, but I never end up reaching for it. But I like that there's niacinamide in it. Okay, get some on the nose. Okay, so this side is definitely not as sticky as this side. That makes sense. Okay, foundation. Okay, so I have two like foundation-y products. I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, which I actually ended up giving away. I gave away my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter to my best friend. I just wasn't getting use out of it. Um, but I was really interested in trying this one. Glow Booster Radiant Finish. Oh, it's got squalene in it. I love me a squalene. Um, it says wear alone, under, or over makeup, or mix with foundation. So you can really do whatever you want with it. But what I'm really excited to try is this one. This is the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation in a shade that's not going to work for me. Let me tell you that. Um, I got it in the shade 70 Warm Shell. I'm not a warm shell. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. It's going to be like a good self-tan shade for me. I was hoping that this would be light enough to lighten the foundation, but I don't think it's going to be. But anyway, I'm just going to put a little bit of this on just for fun, just to see what the deal is with it. And I'll blend it out using my Real Technique sponge. Yeah, this is exactly like the Flawless Filter. Um, I see the benefits of a product like the Flawless Filter, um, but I just wasn't reaching for the Charlotte Tilbury one. And my friend Cynthia, like, absolutely lives and dies by the Flawless Filter. And even though mine was, like, a little bit too light for her, she was like, I'll make it work. Um, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Obviously, there's, like, no coverage to it. So this is supposed to be a silky, lightweight texture with a smooth matte finish, medium to high coverage for up to 16 hours with aloe vera, and it's waterproof. I, mean, I don't need all of that today, but... I um, saw this as a new release and I'm super excited to try it, but I'm really worried about this shade. If the shade is like really that bad, I'll have to figure something out. But let's see. Actually, oh, 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 maybe it'll blend out. 
The problem with foundations like this is that they're so high coverage, you really don't have a lot of room for error with um, a shade match. And this is looking uh, pretty yellow. I don't know, drag it down. Maybe the concealer will help me. Um, I never, ever, ever these days wear, oh my God, this looks <laughs> yellow. Um, I never, ever, ever wear foundations with a matte finish anymore. I am a dewy girl, but I can, oh. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, but I can mix in like a dewier, I can mix in like the halo glow. I wonder if this is gonna light, this can like lighten it up a little bit or make it like more pink. Cause this is pretty pink toned. Oh, this is bad. This is like really, really yellow. Please fix my life. Is that helping? <laughs> Maybe with concealer. <laughs> This will be, no, this will be fine when I'm self-tanned. Um, they say no silicone, no added silicones, parabens, microplastic particles, oils, perfume, or alcohol. That's lovely. I'm like, I'm a yellow-toned person, but I'm not this yellow-toned. Um, okay. I mean, it, it blended out fine. The shade is not a good match. I did not pull it off with that shade match. The coverage is pretty good. Um, I still have like some breakouts popping through there, but it's really not that bad. The shade. I look like a traffic cone. Okay, well let's try the concealer. I got the Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer. I got this in the shade 30 Alabaster, which we are hoping for something pink. Okay, I'm going to put this everywhere <laughs> because it's lighter and pinkier and hopefully this will help me out. So they say this is a buildable medium coverage concealer creamy texture with aloe vera. Okay, so this does not say that it is um, like waterproof like the foundation. But, I mean, I don't need a waterproof concealer. Okay, tell me this is helping. Please. Does this have a scent? Not really. Um, one of my favorite concealers of all time is the Essence. Uh, no, it's from Catrice, but that's kind of similar. The Catrice High Coverage. So if you're looking for, like, a really affordable concealer, that one is, like, the best. I use it for years. Okay, this is helping. This is helping. This is helping. This is helping. Am I just like gaslighting myself? Like this is helping. Um, okay, I would definitely say a medium coverage. Um, not super high coverage. But it definitely helped with the shade issue, I think. I'm going to just add a little bit more solely for shade purposes. I don't think I... I'm like happy with the coverage level. It'd be easy to like lighten this up if I need to though. So that's fine. I'm really just more interested in the formula. Oh yeah, okay. Lighten this face up. I'm not self-tanned at all right now. I haven't self-tanned in like a week and a half. So. Okay. I think my um, face shade is getting back to normal. Um, okay, so looking closely in the mirror, it really looks okay. It's not, it doesn't look bad. It's not a full coverage concealer by any means. I can definitely still see like the dark circle, circles under my eyes, um, the toddler circles that I have. Um, but okay, not bad, not bad. I like the packaging of the Essence Foundation with like little pink caps. They're cute. Um, and I think that they're really you know, inexpensive too. So um, we're gonna let this concealer sit for a minute while I do my brows and see if it creases or how badly it creases before I go in and set it with powder. Okay, I'm really glad that I fixed the shade issue. I feel a lot better about that. 
I'm just super quickly going to fill in my brows. Nothing crazy. I'm like so over my eyebrows. I got them microbladed um, maybe like two and a half years ago. Um, and I still feel like, like they're still there. Like the pigment of the microblading is still there. And I don't want to like go get a touch up and like deal with that healing process again. So I'm just like letting them do their thing. This is a ColourPop brow pencil. I'm not picky with brow pencils. I could really do like any brand. I even like the Elf one, which I had in my hand a second ago. Um, but it broke. It broke when I was on um, my vacation or like my trip to New York City for New Year's. So, didn't appreciate that. I'm not like, I have a habit of like making my eyebrows too thick <laughs> and not realizing it. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do for that. And then I'm just gonna do some brow gel. I'm going to use the NYX brow glue. This is the clear one. I know they came out with a tinted one and I'm really excited to give that one a try. I totally forgot about it when I placed this Ulta order or else I would have gotten it. But um, I really like this brow gel and it'd be great to find a tinted one. I just hope it's not too tinted, you know, like too pigmented. All right, so I'm just gonna leave that. Let's check on the concealer. Not bad. It's not like super creasy, but you can definitely see like the darkness under my eyes. I do have the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener, but it's back there in my makeup bag for my trip and I haven't unpacked that yet. All right, bronzer. I have two options for a bronzer. So if one doesn't work out, we'll try the next. This is the Pixi On The Glow Bronze Tinted Moisture Stick. I was really excited to try this. I haven't tried any of these types of products from Pixi. And when I saw it on the website on Ulta, I was like, oh my God, I wanna try that. Um, I just got a spam call. I'm so over spam calls. I'm like waiting for a call for like from my UPS driver. Anyway, so I was really excited to try this Pixie Glow Stick. I haven't tried any of them before. And I'm just, what shade is it? I think there's only one shade. Yeah, the bronze beach glow, it says. Hydrating Solid Bronzer. So I'm just going to use my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH12 and see what the deal with this is before I go in with any powder products. I do love a cream bronzer. I love a luminous, glowy bronzer. Ooh, that's pretty. And um, especially having like a matte foundation, I want to make sure to bring some glowiness in. I will use the powder one too that I have. Just... For fun it does i'm noticing it's leaning a little bit like almost purpley do you guys see that like it's like cool toned almost okay i don't know if i does that look purple to you let me know in the comments um okay so i'm just going to they came with like this little plastic thing but i twist it back down put on the plastic thing and move on from that. Um, I think it looks kind of purple. It blended beautifully and it's like doing a really good job of like chiseling my face. I'm also going to be doing a video on um, I'm doing dry January. So I'm going to do a video once that's over about um, my experience. Okay, powder bronzer. There's a lot of Jaclyn Cosmetics um, making its way into Ulta's, not Ulta's, um, TJ Maxx and Target, not Target, Marissa, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, I have two of these already. And this was just a shade I didn't have. This is Stay Rosy and Yummy Toffee. I have the Pink Me Up and Oh Honey, and I have like some other one. Um, I like them. I think the packaging is so insanely bulky. They're really hard for me to store. But I wanted to try another one. And this was like really cheap from what I can recall. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the powder bronzer with the JH13 and just kind of go over that stick bronzer a little bit and try to warm up my neck. The shade isn't really that bad anymore. I say before I like see myself in the car window or the car mirror. That's like the ultimate test of how bad your makeup looks. That's pretty. I mean, I really like this formula. It's a baked formula. 
I think she made them in like Italy or something. Um, but Jaclyn Cosmetics is a Forma brand. If you don't know Forma brand, brands owns, is owns Morphe. Um, and they're going out of business. So let's try the blush. <laughs> I am curious as to what's going to happen with Jaclyn Cosmetics because they are under that Morphe or Forma brands umbrella. Um, I'm wondering, you know, a lot of their stuff has been on sale and, um, obviously I'm seeing it, um, in TJ Maxx's and Marshall's. So we'll see. I'm interested to see what the future of Jacqueline Cosmetics is. That blush is really pretty. Just neutrally pink. Um, a lot of the duos, the, the two other duos that I have tend to run a little bit, um, purple, but this one doesn't, so happy with that. Concealer is creasing a smidge. I do need to set that with powder, which I will. Oh, let's do that now. Let's set that with powder. Um, we'll just use the one I have in front of me. This is the Kosas um, Cloud Set Powder in the lightest shade, which is called Breezy. And I normally bake my under eye because it's like the only way that like works for me. But I don't care today because I'm just going to one quick kneading. So I'm going to tap the powder under my eyes and see how that works. There. There. I mean, it's set. I, I'm sure it's going to crease. But I feel like I still feel like the shade coming up on the camera it looks a little bit yellow. But like I'm looking at myself in the mirror and it doesn't look that bad. Famous last words. All right, for highlighter, I have, actually, let me pop in some tinted brow gel. Now that my brow glue has set, this is the Kosas Air Brow in the shade Honey Blonde. Okay. This, I, I have one of these already, but the shade that I have, if I can dig it out, it's too dark. The shade High Volt is too dark, so this is the shade Extra. Um, this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter. Uh, I have, um, I tried this high volt shade on, in a video recently, um, and I just found that, like, it wasn't giving me, like, the wabam that I thought that it was going to. So I was excited when I saw this lighter shade. I'm just gonna pour some in the cap and hope that it works. This is a Real Techniques 402 setting brush that I use for later yeah this one is definitely giving a little bit more well bam even though i don't necessarily need that for this makeup look yeah that's like whoop. that's what i was looking for so i'm going to take a smaller brush and put some of that on the inner corner of my eye i'm still doing this technique i don't know if it's like out of date but it just helps me brighten up my eyes a little bit. All right, so that's good. That was a good purchase. Happy about that. I do want to make a small adjustment to my right eyebrow. Did you guys have a good holiday? We had an insane holiday um, because I have a toddler. So we, I got her, she loves Sesame Street. So I got her like all Sesame Street toys. And my house is now taken over by Elmo and all of his pals. <laughs> so she was really happy. So, you know, at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. All right, let's do some setting spray. Um, ooh, actually, I'll show you guys a little trick that I do. I, Whenever I do my highlighter, I always like to go back over just like this part right here with a little bit of blush. I think it just helps to like blend the two together and not have like like a big line so that that's a little something that i do setting spray let's pick something that i haven't used in a while i have this setting spray from lila b but i'm kind of worried about it because it is the aglow face mist i just don't want it to like i think it has oil in it of some kind and i don't want it to um disrupt my makeup do I go for it? My other option is my tried and true Catrice Dewy Glow. I don't care, it's just a meeting. Let's use the Lila B. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. it smells bad. I got a bunch of Lila B stuff from Sephora because I think they're going out of business. Um, yeah, that gave me some glow there. Yeah, I think they're going out of business. So a lot of their stuff was on sale um, at Sephora. All right, now that we're done with that, let's do mascara. I have been really liking this one. Um, it's a mini size, but it's the Freck Mascara, the Lash Rocket Mascara. I've been loving this. I told um, Cynthia, my best friend, that I loved it. And she was like, Ugh. I was like, okay, well, if you get any in gratis, you pass them right on to me. I do really like this mascara. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't transfer, and it um, does a really good job of like lengthening. See? See the difference there? Pretty good. I don't have like trouble with mascaras, but this one's really good. So I'll probably end up getting a full size one of this eventually. I just have like 15 tubes of mascara open. I wish I was lying. Okay, perfecto. And you can, this is like a totally buildable mascara. I think if I'm not mistaken, it's a um, tubing mascara. It certainly might be. Okay, very quickly, we'll pop on some lip product and then we'll get out of here. I am struggling. I continue to struggle with finding the perfect lip liner that like isn't too cool toned or too brown. I don't know if this one's even gonna work. Oh yeah, well, we'll try it. This is Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar, which is like one of the best. All of my lip filler has gone away. It's not so sad. I really need to get it done again, but if you have gotten lip filler, you know how painful it is. Before, during it, well, not before, but like during and after, oh my God. But I really did like when I had it. So, okay, what am I gonna do for a lip? I don't think I have, do I have a new lip? Oh, I do have a new lip product to me. Um, I have a couple. Let's see what we have. This is the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayon in Status Quo. It's from their High School Musical collection. I remember trying this. One, it smells god awful. It's like a mango scent. Oh god. I remember trying this a little while ago and I don't think I love the color, but I also did get this um gloss, this so glassy gloss from ColourPop in the shade Set Free. So maybe I'll like combine the two and do this on the top just like super lightly. I don't think I love this shade. And I'll put a little bit of the gloss on the bottom maybe. I don't want the gloss to be like too much, but ooh, ooh hoo, hoo. it looks like it's gonna be a lot. That's okay. We will blend it in with more of the lip tint. If you know me, High School Musical is one of my favorite movies of all time. I love the franchise. I love, I love High School Musical. So I was really excited when ColourPop came out with this collection. And I also got the Freaky Genius Girl Pressed Powder Blush from that collection, which looks really pretty. So um, I have not tried that one yet. Oh, I had this lipstick. This would have been the perfect lipstick. This is the Armani Lip Power in Beige 104. But I actually don't hate how this is looking right now. Fast to the top. This is like one of my most used lipsticks of all time. All right, the finished look. Um, I am excited to see how, oops. I'm excited to see how this stuff wears throughout the day, especially the foundation. I mean, the foundation is a matte finish, which I'm not, um, I don't really gravitate towards anymore. The concealer is creasing a little bit, but it really doesn't look that bad. I love the eyeshadows, of course, but I know I like NARS shadows. The bronzer, I need to play with a little bit more because I think it looked kind of purple but um, the, the Jaclyn powders help to like warm that up a little bit. The highlighter is definitely popping. The blush is pretty and I like the lip combo. So good overall. Um, I do, I just put up my BoxyCharm video a couple, well, yesterday I put it up and um, you know, you can't like every product all the time, every month. There are some hits and there are some misses. 
Um, I just tend to have more misses than hits on BoxyCharm, but they're still fun for me to film and they're fun for me to receive every month. And like, I like the surprise and usually the choice item is okay. And like, it's just makeup. So let me know what you guys think down below about all of these products. If you've tried any of them, especially the newer ones, like the new releases from e.l.f., like the Halo Glow and then the primer. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.